What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Darius. I want to thank you guys for watching. You guys could be anywhere else in the world, but you're hearing me, and I really appreciate that. Make sure to subscribe to your boy. Leave a like. Give me guys any recommendation. Leave in a comment section. I get to it as soon as possible. Worry about doing right now, but react to I'm an incel. Ask me anything by Jubilee. Um, we did another, we did an ask me anything with, uh, with a flat third thumb girl, lady. Um, and, um, it, it was actually a pretty fun video to react to. You know, despite her, you know, craziness or whatever. One thing I do agree with a flat earth girl is that, um, you know, as long as it's not hurting anyone, let, let other people believe whatever they want to believe. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, life is too short to be, uh, to be upset with, uh, with, uh, to be upset over Truman out Dean. Do you get what I'm saying? But with that being said, you know, we're about to do another Ask Me Anything. This time with, I'm an incel. I've been meaning to do this for a while. But not now, now uh, I finally got around to it. Now we're about to react to it. So enough of me, blah, blah, blah. Let's get straight to it. If you could summarize your opinion towards women. Like what I think of them? Yes. <laughs> I do think they are very important. But. But what? The incels, man. You know what I'm saying? They are one of the biggest headaches. They, these are the type of guy who, they're the type of guy who be like, oh, girl don't like me, they don't do this and everything. When, uh, when, when the reality is that, um, not, not too many people work on themselves to be like, like to be, uh, to be an attractive guy. Not a nice guy, but an attractive guy. You get what I'm saying? Be, I think being nice is, is part of being an attractive guy, be, being a great guy. But being nice, being a nice guy is not the only, it should not be your only trait. It should be part of your trait to be an attractive guy. You know what I'm saying? And also another another key part is, you know, you know, looking good, you know, looking fresh to death and everything. I'm not a little fresh to death right now. I got a sweater on and you know, like, you know, I need to get a fresh haircut and everything. But uh, but you gotta get what I'm saying. So you got you gotta look as presentable as possible. You know, I think I look look attractive. Not only look attractive, you gotta be attractive as well. And that's what a lot of incels don't understand. But enough we blah blah blind. As a member of an online self sculpt that is in around not being sexually active despite decided to be. Some topics and are hard to approach. More and no time where I was the incels myself, I ain't gonna lie. You might call this a new phenomenon. Either the subjects are inaccessible or people are uncomfortable discussing them. If you're an ugly guy, you better get a good job and make some money because nobody's gonna look at you. Girls, I will. It's sadly a lot. It's sadly is. The saddest thing is a lot of the incels. They do um they do um have this hyper like not like the toxic masculinity vibe to it. Like look like look at this guy like this. Let, let's see what here we have to say. Nobody's gonna want to dodge you, girls. I will destroy you. You don't deserve to get laid at all. So we found this like, in person. But why why, why not? Why not? Because you're not getting you're laid. How about how about should how about should pay just to like just to get laid? You know what I'm saying? And any strangers walking by to come inside. And ask them where, the, where that at the um, Empire yeah, Burger. Any strangers walking. Oh, I forgot where that at. That Wil Wilton. Cause, like, cause, like cause I've seen this place somewhere, someplace up Empire Burger. I think I think this is on Hollywood Boulevard. I, to come inside and ask them anything. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm uh, Brendio. I also go by Derek. I uh, I'm an incel, and I'm here to uh, answer people's questions about the topic. Let's do this. I can start. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. So you're an incel? Yes. <laughs> Why would you ever sign up to do this? I, yeah. I suppose I would want to give more of a positive light on this community, which is a very negative light upon it. Okay. Do that, you that, think that's a good thing? Yes. Why is that? Hmm. Because a lot of the boys in this community aren't bad people. But you acknowledge that a good handful of them are, right? Not a good handful. I'd say a small handful. Who? I say, I say sure them are not really like good people, but. Sure. Or what happened? What event sort of catalyzed this way of thinking and you getting into this kind of research? Uh, society. <laughs> um, do you hate women? No. 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 Do you have a female role model in your life? A female role model. Yeah, like um, a mom or an aunt or a friend. Yeah. I mean, I love my mom. I wouldn't necessarily consider her a role model, but I do love her quite a bit. If a I mean, I mean, so, I mean, you know, like a lot of people say, mother, mother, are you no, normally young boys? Um, first, you know, first love and things like that. 
So ain't, ain't, ain't no, you'll do anything for your mother. So if you don't, if you don't respect your mother, then chances are you ain't gonna respect any woman. I was elected as president of the United States. How would you react? <laughs> if a woman was elected as president of the United States, how would you react? How? <laughs> um, I don't know. It probably would depend on the on the woman. I, I, I probably I probably wouldn't be supportive of it, honestly. But <laughs> why do you say that if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, I do think that you know men should be the leaders and. Women should be the caregivers and the, and the uh, you know the loving, supporting. And the... uh, but uh, but we live in a whole new generation now. So like so that that what it think that line of thinking go back to the nineteen fifties, even to the nineteen sixties. We go even argue nineteen seventies or eighties. You know things like that. But uh, but nowadays, you know you know what I'm saying we have a lot of great a lot, a lot of great women on both sides. There are like there are um, lawmakers. You know what I'm saying AOC is one of them. Um. Damn. Um. What the? Uh. And 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 the girl who I just voted for, Sydney. Call Sydney. Ah, I just voted for her for to be my congresswoman. I I can't. I, her last name start with a K. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Teachers. So in some cases, since women of color or just women in general have been oppressed by certain systems and other oppressed communities, That's true. especially Fact. LGBTQ plus, all those those are, don't really fit with the spectrum that incels or you have been talking about. So why do you think? your method of thought would help fix what we have today. Exactly. I probably wouldn't view the things you might... Look, look, look at him. He, he's stuck in for work. He's stuck for work. <laughs> view his oppression as oppression. What? I, a, I probably wouldn't view the things you might view as oppression as oppression. Uh, and of course, a white guy wouldn't feel, would not lie, wouldn't feel these uh, as oppression. You know what I'm saying? That, and um, and that's how you know you never, you don't know what these people... Not, I don't want to say these people. We don't know what other people are going through. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's just like let's just say you know like um, um let let's just say you know like a person in a wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a person in a wheelchair. I'm not on a wheelchair. I can walk. But let's say a person in a wheelchair. You know, like they get heavily discriminated at. They get and they're being oppressed at. You know, they like they like me telling them, oh like oh the thing you you um thing you seen that oppression. I don't see that oppression. It's like what? It's like what? Just because it's not happening to you does not mean it's not happening at all. Does that make sense? I have a feeling. Um, I would view it more as uh, how we treat children that we love. We we control huh? them. But we control them lovingly, not as a slave, not as we're forcing them to do things against their will. I would view it. What the hell does her talk about women of color have to do with children? Or as a a loving domestic thing in the past and i would say that if we were to do it in a civilized way maybe in a more even a christian way even though i'm not really advocating for a certain religion or ideology um uh, i would her. assume that women would probably be happier and i wouldn't just assume that her facial expression like what the data fuck what data have you seen that has brought you to this conclusion because i'm now <laughs> curious where i can get this data from exactly um i couldn't reference it offhand but i believe there was a study that, that um I, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. It is about liberal areas that create behavior in women that you think is a problem. Promiscuity leads to increased <laughs> standards in more primitive aspects, such as looks. Um, and that... Why, why when we talk about uh, prim, uh, primi promiscuity, oh, whatever that word is, uh, why we why we talk on that subject? It always uh, it always goes back to the women. Males could uh, could sleep with multiple people too. And as a matter of fact, males have done have slept with multiple people, but we never we never call them like we don't never make them feel bad for being promiscuous. There we go, promiscuous. Um, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, if they if they slept with a whole whole bunch of women, we praise them like, hey, what up, y'all? What up, fellas? Yeah, you yeah, your yeah, girl. Yeah. He's a pimp. Wait, but when a woman being promiscuous, um, you know, we call them, we call them a whore, a slut, um, and all type of dirty names and things like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you got, uh, all I'm saying is, if you're going to be anti-promiscuous, uh, you got to be all, all across the board. Man, a woman should be, uh, should be promiscuous and not as your men. But... Typically, <laughs> it makes it harder for some people to find a relationship, including sometimes good-looking people. Like, there's guys who are much better looking than I am who are having a really hard time finding someone in a place like L.A. or in London. Or that's actually true, actually. That's actually true, because I actually know some people who are really good-looking, like, you know, better, better looking than I am. You know, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, you know. Like, I'm not going to lie, you know, I'll, I'll give props to props to do. 
and they and they can't find a relationship or they can't stay in a decent relationship. But a lot, but a lot of times that's not that's not the uh, many times that's not the woman's fault. It's not it's not their fault. You get what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, uh, you know, like if uh, if let let's say this: if a person cannot be in a stable relationship, no matter how good looking or how how good they doing, that then they have to look into themselves, saying, "What am I, what am I doing wrong? You know, what am I doing wrong? You know, you know what I'm saying? Do it like fix, fix the area that you need to fix that then that you need to work on. You get, you get what you get what I'm saying? Because there because there, there's some there's somebody for everyone. There's somebody from everyone. In New Zealand, but they probably would have a perfectly fine time finding a, a woman somewhere else. So you think that promiscuity is the problem, and if people were more monogamous and more um, withholding, that would sort of fix society? Yeah, I suppose if people were more traditionalists. There have been a few mass shootings in the past where mm. these shooters actually stated that they were incels or yep. were radicalized yep. by online incels. Yep. What do you think about their act? Yep, and a lot of them are like, are, 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 and a lot of them, not, not all of them, but a lot of them were like, were straight white men who get, like, who gets all the pent up anger, uh, anger in them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not saying everything, every single thing, um, this, this will cause a reason for every mass shooting, but I know there have been few that have been a pent up anger. Uh, be, uh, because because they can't get women, so and they blame women for everything, so they end up shooting, shooting, shooting all the women. Oh, and, and uh, of course, this is not every mass shooting. By the by, the a lot of common dread is that uh, it one day definitely mental health, but two, you know, lack of lack, lack of gun control, and, all, and also it because you know they got a lot of pent up aggressions in them. Like, like and like and like I said, you know, like if they they have money, you know, like you go. Like go go be with an the escort. They not no and, and and I won't even judge you if you if you ever were, were with an uh with an escort, because because like 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 because guess what you're like you're grown, he or she is grown, you 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 um you, you do whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? A lot of them they won't even judge you. They won't they won't even judge you. But like but like but you can't but you can't blame everyone for like for your problem. I, so much, I condemn their actions. I don't believe in violence. I believe violence is the Good. solution. I don't believe attacking random people is going to fix anything, whether they're hey. you know, women or men. I do think that the reason why they committed those actions was probably because of out of desperation or, or out of you know, I, mental problems. That probably could have been prevented had the, yes. the right support was in their in their community, in their household. If they if you know, if people, you know, saw what they were posting and saw what they were experiencing in life yeah. and did something to help them. Was there like... And, uh, and also, another thing, you know, uh, uh, people don't like to do, they don't like to call for help. I know I have a hard time doing this myself. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, know, I have a hard time saying, hey, hey, I need help. You know what I'm saying? I need help. I I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I just need help. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with asking for help, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, and, and people will, will help you out pivotal moment in your life like a straw that broke the metaphorical camel's back metaphorical you know it's constant years of rejection no matter who the person was constant years of rejection in other aspects of my life it did kind of push me towards more i suppose radical um beliefs but i suppose they're only like radical but they're more just old beliefs really you know what and i'm not going i'm going not going to lie rejection hurts it really do i, I i'm going to be truthful for you i am even to this day, I've never been been in a truthful relationship ever. I've never been in a real relationship. You know, what I'm saying I can't get rejected, 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 rejected over, over, over again by like, like you know, by, by a lot of girls who I have a, who I had a crush on, and it's like you know, it 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 gets to a point. It's like what's like you know, like what what's wrong with these girls? I'm I'm a catch. Like you know, what I'm saying that that would kind of push me toward like toward like the incel side, everything. But uh, but uh, but they, but definitely they to my homie, homie Sam. Child to you, Sam. He learned he learned that you know like you know what you know it's not the girl fault. They had that everybody not not that everybody not to be with you and, and everything. And you and, and um at the same time though we can do everything to ourselves to work like to um to work on ourselves just so we can perceive as, as attractive. You get what, you get what I'm saying? Um, th uh, think of it this way: the Tories BRG biggest mall. He ain't the best looking guy in the world. He was like he wasn't like and he even say I wasn't the best looking guy in the world. But he can like but he got, but he got a lot of girl, he got a lot of beautiful women. You know, and one thing is confident level. You got, definitely got to be confident. And two and, and two and two, you know, like just um is that how you handle yourself? So like so the way you handle yourself, it, it look 
like to other girl to other girl it, it made him look look more attractive even even though he wasn't the most attractive guy in the world it, you get what I'm saying that's why like that's why Biggie was was highly successful when it comes to women no it's it sounds like uh, like I had another like metaphor like death by a thousand cuts you know it's not like one pivotal moment it sounds like a bunch of things built up over time yeah yeah uh, one of the common criticisms about the incel community is that that's you feel. Question entitled to sex or intimacy do you believe that you deserve sex or intimacy from a woman um i think everybody at some level deserves someone that they someone that loves them and you know respects them as long as you are also loving and respectful towards that person you know they're, they're I agree with equal. That. you know you're not like uh seeking someone beyond yourself you know you don't have like too high standards i suppose well, that that's also that's also true too. I do I do think you know you know like I agree with that you know every, everyone do do deserve to have someone by themselves. Everyone deserves to be loved. You know what I'm saying? Everyone you know like of course of course you know we have people in our in our lives like our family members and even even some of our closest friends who who love us un, un, unconditionally and 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 and, uh, and will be down for us um no matter what. But uh, but you know, like a lot of people, you know, we de we deserve to be ro romantically, you know, we deserve to be rom romantically involved uh, with uh, with that per with the right person. But you know, if you can tell the world about something about being incel that you know um, that may not be in the internet or that's overlooked heavily, what would it be? Hmm. I don't know. I think it's mostly that most of the men are not inherently bad people. A lot of them are okay. just lonely. They just need some help, really. And they, and and they, they, they just need to get laid. That other people can do to help guide or that's a good question. Or you know, the the lonely person in your class or the lonely person mm -hmm. in, in in your workplace. Maybe uh maybe he's an incel and he's not letting you know and he's just kind of afraid to. You want someone positive? Just just be nice. Say hi. Try and make friends with him. You don't have to date him. You don't have to whatever. Just you know. Right now. And, and, and it always, it always good to be nice to people. Um, just like, just, just because. You know, just because it's the right thing to do. You don't, you don't, you don't have to be nice just to be nice. Uh, you don't have to be nice, you know, like, just because you're forced to. Uh, you should be nice just like, just because it's the right thing, it's just the right thing to do. Don't, don't be, don't be just a dick to people. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, if you don't find that person attractive, don't be like, ew, that motherfucker's ugly. Because, like, because that do happen. And that actually do, do help turn the guy into more of an incels. You know what I'm saying? Do like, you know, like, um, turn, turn him down, uh, turn down shitly. Say, hey, I'm, I'm in it, I'm, that flatter. But, um, but, uh, but I'm just not attracted. Someone lonely's day, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, note it. <laughs> Thank you. You don't want to be an incel? No. <laughs> no one wants Why to be not? an incel. Well, I mean, it's part of the whole involuntarily thing. I mean, I, I you know, you want to try and escape it. You want to be something better. You know, you want to. Uh, get a wife, get a girlfriend, get someone yeah. who loves you, spend spend your life with them, and be happy. And what's one thing you wish people understood better about you? I don't know. I I, I guess how people. I wish people would recognize um, how much effort I'm trying. I suppose. Like you know, I'm working out typically daily. I've lost over 100 pounds. Good. I'm out there job hunting actively. I don't think people recognize how much effort the incels in general try to put into bettering themselves. I would say, you know, people don't recognize their effort. They just assume that they're all like lazy and, and, and sad and angry at women and just giving up and things of that nature. And that, and that one and that one thing a lot of guys need to do, we should need to work on, like I said earlier, we just need to work on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? You know, like they know, if you're not, if you're a big guy, you know, like if you feel, if you feel shame about your weight, start work, start working out, you know, start like, you know, start putting your goal. You know what I'm saying? If you just just a regular guy who just dress all uh, funny and things like that, get you like you just a better gear. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a grown man, if you're a working man, get like get yourself some new, fresh new clothes. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself some new sneakers. You know, or you know like some fresh some fresh prints, some fresh um like fresh shirts and everything. You know, get you something that uh, that will help you that that will help you stand stand out from um uh, uh, from the rest. You get what I'm saying? And, and I'm saying, um, and also, also, you know, if you try, you know, you will introvert, you know, and do like, do like, admit, like, do like a, like an assignment, you know, like we see, we see a girl, sit, just, just say hi to him, you know what I'm saying? Don't like, you know, you know, like it doesn't have to be a conversation, it doesn't have to be, you know, like, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, just say hi, hi to random girls.
You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, it, it doesn't matter if she's the most attractive girl or if she like uh, if she's the least attractive girl. She said she said hi to girl. She said hi, hi hi to them and um anyway because because guess what that um uh, because guess what she said she's just by saying hi to them will make will make their day. I, I know I'm. I'm you don't have to see the bad things in the world and then come out a bad person. You can just see the bad things in the world and then improve upon yourself because of them. I suppose. So you do have hope. Yeah, I, I, I have. I have hope. Yeah, I'm a very hopeful person. I suppose. I won't lie. This went a lot differently than I thought it would. I thought so too. <laughs> I, I agree. We'd be yelling at each other, you know. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yay! Hello. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That actually looks like a good video right there, Ken. 12, degree. <laughs> that, that's a pretty good video. You know, I actually learned to the few things. That's one thing I like about reacting to the cut and to believe video. You always learn something. Even if you don't agree with it, you always learn something. You get, you get what I'm saying? You learn something new every day. Um, but um, but that's that. What do you guys think of this video? Let me know. Comment below. Like, subscribe to your boy. You can check out my previous um, to believe video down here. Peace, love, and rock and roll.